And another popular example is people say sijui aje, sijui aje. That means you don't know how you feel. Like it's a feeling that you cannot explain. Sijui aje, sijui aje, sijui aje. Like you don't know how you feel. Sijui aje. Jumbo, welcome to my channel. This is Naomi. And how are you, everyone? Are you doing well? Mkoje, mnaendeleaje, mmeshindaje leo. So, in our previous video, we say that we are going to talk about how to use J. J. Are you interested to know? Are you? So welcome and let's sit back and enjoy as we learn a few Swahili. Karibu sana. Welcome. So our first usage of J is as a question marker. Like something that is used to make a sentence be a question. Like a question mark. So I'll give you several examples so that you can understand what I'm saying. So the first sentence is J. Unaishi wapi? J, unaishi wapi? Where do you live? J, unaishi wapi? You can actually just ask, unaishi wapi? Unaishi wapi? But saying J, unaishi wapi? Gives an emphasis of the question. J, unaishi wapi? J, unaishi wapi? Where do you live? Uh, the second sentence we can say, J, unamjua Michael Jackson? J, unamjua Michael Jackson? Do you know him? Do you know Michael Jackson? Do you? Unamjua Michael Jackson? J, unamjua Michael Jackson? Yeah, that's our second sentence. Our third sentence, we can say, J, utaenda sokoni? J, utaenda sokoni? J, utaenda sokoni? Will you go to the market? Will you go to the market? Note that when you say, will you go to the market? It's the same as saying, utaenda sokoni, utaenda sokoni. So saying, J, utaenda sokoni, J does not affect the sentence in English, but in Swahili, it gives emphasis. It gives emphasis. J, utaenda sokoni, J, utaenda sokoni, will you go to the market? Secondly, you can use J to mean, what about, what about. So let's look at the sentences so that we can understand, yeah? Yeah, so our first sentence we can say, Na mimi je, na mimi je, na mimi je, what about me, what about me? So maybe in a scenario where you are with your friends, then they give them gifts and leave you out. So you ask, Na mimi je, what about me, na mimi je, na mimi je, what about me? Yeah, so you can also say, Na wewe je, na wewe je, what about you, na wewe je? what about you so in a scenario where maybe you're asking people their names then you ask what about you like what's your name what about you na wewe je na wewe je unaitwa nani na wewe je what about you what about you na wewe je yeah then we can also say na wanawake je na wanawake je now, when I work at J, so in a scenario where maybe someone is talking about rights for men, then like there are women there and they, were, and they are wondering, what about women? Why are you not talking about women? So they, you can ask, now when I work at J, now when I work at J, what about women? Now when I work at J, right? Now when I work at J, what about women? Now when I work at J, yeah. Thirdly, we can also use it to mean how. How? So I'll give examples, then you can understand what I mean, yeah? So, uh, usually when you want to know how someone is doing we always say how are you doing how are you faring so also in Swahili you can say unaendeleaje how are you doing unaendeleaje or umeshindaje 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 or how are you faring umeshindaje umeshindaje uh, you can also say umekuaje umekuaje all those you can use as a form of greeting of saying, how are you? Umekuaje, umeshindaje, unaendeleaje. Yeah? So this, that's how the 
that's how the how I'm saying yeah because you can say umeshinda when you say umeshinda it just means you win you've won but when you say umeshindaje it will mean how are you faring when you say unaendelea it will just mean you're continuing or maybe continuing doing something but when you say unaendeleaje it means how are you doing you see so how j is important in this form yeah in greetings yeah then you can also use j to mean what what j to mean what so i'll give you several examples to understand what i mean yeah so the first example you can say alisemaje alisemaje that will mean what did she say or what did he say alisemaje mama alisemaje baba alisemaje mwalimu alisemaje what did he say or what did she say second example we can say mwalimu aliamwaje mwalimu aliamwaje mwalimu aliamwaje that means what did the teacher decide mwalimu aliamwaje what did the teacher decide aliamwaje mwalimu aliamwaje so these are popular sentence that usually says if it were you what would you have done if it were you what would you have done so in swahili you can say ingekuwa ni wewe ungefanyaje ingekuwa ni wewe ungefanyaje ingekuwa ni wewe ungefanyaje if it were you what would you have done so what the j stands for what would you have done ungefanyaje what would you have done yeah another usage of j you can use it to mean how dare you or or how can you how can you or how dare you so i'll give you several examples so that you can understand so first example you can say unakosaje kumlipa pesa zake unakosaje kumlipa pesa zake unakosaje kumlipa pesa zake how dare you not pay him his money or how can you not pay him his money how can you not pay him his money how dare you not pay him his money I think in English it means kind of the same. So how can how dare you not pay him his money? Unakosaje kumlipa pesa zake? Another example you can say wanakosaje kumheshimu mwalimu? Wanakosaje kumheshimu mwalimu? Wanakosaje kumheshimu mwalimu? How can they not respect the teacher? How can they not respect the teacher? Wanakosaje kumheshimu mwalimu? Wanakosaje kumheshimu mwalimu? How can they not respect the teacher? How can they not respect the teacher? Wanakosaje kumheshimu mwalimu? We can also give another example and say, alimongeleshaje mama namna hiyo? Alimongeleshaje mama namna hiyo? Alimongeleshaje mama namna hiyo it's it's disappointing how did she talk to mom like that alimongeleshaje mama namna hiyo lastly you can use j in sheng sheng is the popular kenyan slang it's called sheng and sheng is a mixture of kiswahili english and uh, local languages kenyan local languages and it's spoken mostly by the kenyan youth mostly swahili is widely used in sheng and so J is one of the popular used words in Sheng. J is a short form of the word Aje. Aje. Aje means how. You can say also in Kiswahili, VP. VP. Aje or VP. How. So this Aje now, it's shortened to J. To J. And now you can say, Unaendelea J. Unafanya J. So the J, Aje becomes J. Unafanyaje, unaendeleaje, yeah. So famous Sheng are, for example, niaje, niaje. Niaje means, how are you? You can also say, ukoje, ukoje. Someone can tell you ukoje. Still, ukoje means, how are you? Ukoje, ukoje. Also another example of Sheng is, aje sasa, aje sasa. How come, how come, aje sasa. Aje sasa, how come? And another popular example is people say sijui aje, sijui aje. That means you don't know how you feel. Like it's a feeling that you cannot explain. Sijui aje, sijui aje, sijui aje. 
like you don't know how you feel i'm happy you've learned a few sheng so when you come to kenya you can use sheng in the streets not in classroom in the streets please in the streets not in the classroom <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've understood at least one thing from this teaching and I'm really happy for your support every day. So those who have not subscribed, kindly subscribe, kindly like and comment and I hope to see you next time. So stay healthy and see you next time. Kwaheri!